Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in this class we are covering causes of death in hanging. So in previous lecture we have covered a brief discussion on hanging and its classification. So we have three different types of classification. First is depending upon the degree of suspension. Then we have depending upon the degree, uh, the position of knot, sorry, the depending on the manner of hanging. So this is manner of hanging on the basis of manner, on the position of knot, and then degree of suspension. In today's class, we are going to cover causes of death in hanging. And first and predominant cause of death in hanging is asphyxia. So what happens is asphyxia in case of hanging. So whatever the ligature material is, it, it, constrict, it will be the constructing force which causes compressive narrowing of the larynx and trachea. So where larynx and trachea is, so uh, for example, this is the, let's say this is the neck of a person. Okay, let's just consider this is the neck of a person and here we have larynx. Okay, some structure like this. This is like larynx and this is trachea. Okay, so this is trachea and after that we have like primary bronchi and then secondary bronchi like afterwards so here then we have like small bronchi and alveoli and this is the like lungs like that okay so that's what the main structure is so now you have an idea about this so the larynx this is larynx and this is oh wait i'm so sorry And this is trachea. Okay. So what is the constructing force? Whatever the whatever material which is used as a ligature, it will become the constructing force for trachea and a larynx, and thereby it forces up the root of tongue against the posterior wall of pharynx, where pharynx is just beneath that. Okay. So the tongue tongue will be pulled against the posterior wall of the pharynx and fold of epiglottis over the entrance of larynx and block the airway. So everything is blocked here where the ligature is. So larynx, trachea, pharynx, everything is blocked and because this, this will be the constructing force, whatever the, for example, sari, rope or anything which can be the ligature material will create the constricting force against larynx, trachea, pharynx and the tongue will again play a really very important role in this. It will restrict the, it will again block the airway. So this obstruction of airway causes air hunger. So if the air is blocked because we are not able to breathe through nose because it comes up here only, you know. So we have same path. So if the air blockage is there then the person will like suffer or will crave for oxygen if entry of air in the lungs is completely prevented then death occurs rapidly this is important if ex or entry of oxygen is prevented then death will come really very rapidly and it will create signs of asphyxia what is the uh, like ideal what we can say what is the ideal weight for uh, as, uh, what is the ideal weight for hanging is tension of 15 kgs okay if the pressure is around 15 kg the ligature will block the trachea and air passage will be blocked completely and soon it will be followed to rapid death then we have venous congestion so in case the knot is situated in and around the chin area for example the venous flow is obstructed. So in that case, the venous flow is obstructed, but the arterial flow remains intact in that case. So please note that if vasal, in, in, uh, in case of um, ligature, if it is around the chin, so what happens? Ve venous congestion happens, okay? So in venous congestion, so venous congestion is again really very important. And in this case, the uh, flow of like the arterial flow remains intact. Only venous flow is obstructed. The jugular veins are involved in this. That will result in stoppage of cerebral 
circulation and a rapid rise in venous pressure in the head leading to unconsciousness for this tension of 2 to 3 kg is enough to make this happen okay so here again in the neck we have a lot of veins and arteries which like which uh, supplies oxygen and blood to our brain so if this thing get constricted if the jugular veins are involved it will stop cerebral circulation to an extent that venous pressure increases it will be rapidly increasing at that point and it will uh, lead up to unconsciousness and followed by the death so this happens but third situation is when asphyxia and venous congestion both happens so this is the most common case in case of hanging so there is no like specific case which is just asphyxia or just venous congestion so in most of the hanging there is the involvement of these two things okay then we have cerebral anemia so as the name suggests cerebral in brain we have low blood flow or low oxygen tension so if the rope is situated at the nape of the neck the both arterial and venous blood flow are cut off by pressure of the noose and both side of the neck pressure on the large arteries produces cerebral anemia and immediate coma within a short span of 10 to 15 second so this is really very important tension of 4 to 5 kg obliterates both the carotid and tension of 20 kgs is needed for obliterating the vertebral arteries so it, it is again a really very um like really very fearful situation or really very uh, tricky situation in case of hanging if the rope is situated near the nap of the neck if both arterial and venous blood flow is stopped within seconds the person will go to coma and there is no going back the person will become unconscious and the more the more uh, if the person becomes unconscious the more weight will be applied so if 4 to 5 kg is there then again there is no chance if 20 kg is there then it's completely like it will complete obliterate the vertebral arteries then we have reflex vagal inhibition so due to pressure over the carotid bodies and vagal sheath it happens and again it will lead to death then we have fracture and dislocation of cervical vertebra so this is again really very common in judicial hanging because the person drops from a height so because of that dropping the fracture is there and dislocation of uh, cervical vertebra is seen so these are some common causes of uh, hanging so, some common causes of death and hanging then we have fetal period so as we have already seen that we need only few like few seconds to few minutes so the hanging can achieve death so first federal like first point in fetal period is death occurs due to asphyxia then the fetal period is around 5 to 10 minutes in case of death due to occlusion of blood vessel it takes a bit longer like 12 to 20 minutes second in judicial hanging death is instantaneous it was really very in instant okay then if death is delayed delayed death delayed death by several days are rare and occur due to first condition that is aspiration pneumonia any infection edema of larynx or lungs infraction of brain hypoxic encephalopathy or brain abscess okay so these are some issues which is related with delayed delayed death and then judicial hang it is really very quick and instant and the first type asphyxia and in even uh, venous congestion and cerebral anemia anemia sorry it takes like maximum 20 minutes and in case of asphyxia the time is really very less 5 to 10 minutes okay so this is the fetal period for hanging and in the next class 
we will cover most a postmortem appearance in case of hanging so this is about it for today's class everyone causes of death and hanging i hope this lecture is helpful to you i hope this lecture is uh, fruitful and if this is helpful click the like button share it with your friends and do consider subscribing this channel because this channel is new and it needs your support it will give me a lot of happiness if you will subscribe this channel thank you so much again everyone have a great day and if you want to join any of our classes for ujc net forensic science and criminology it is available in our official application all the details are given in the description box do check that out and if you want to text us or if you want to get connection or if you want to ask some question you can comment it down below and we have whatsapp support number for students and they can text us there as well thank you so much again everyone bye see you guys in the next video